One of the hardest things for beginning didgeridoo players is getting a good sound. Today I'm going to share three tips that will help you take your didge playing to a higher level. Welcome to Didge Project. I'm AJ Block and on this channel we share tips for didgeridoo players and musicians of all kinds. And today I want to share with you some tips for beginning didgeridoo players that will really help you get a better sound, start the sound right when you intend to, and really make sure that you're comfortable, relaxed, and feeling good while you're playing. I actually have a comment from Martin Kreusenbrunner. This is a comment on one of our YouTube videos, and he says, I can buzz around without the didge, but when I put the didge on my lips, I just blow through it. Any tips? One of the key things about starting the didgeridoo drone is making sure you have enough pressure to support the drone. And this really comes not only from pushing on your abs. If you haven't seen our video, How to Play Didgeridoo for Absolute Beginners, I highly suggest you check that out. But in addition to that, you need to actually press your lips together and get this P sound. If you watch my hand, you're actually pressing together and then as soon as you push with your abs, as soon as your air comes out, it goes wide open. So I'm actually going puh, puh, but instead of saying puh, as soon as I do the P, I go right into a drone sound. <laughs> what I'm actually doing is using that P sound and then using the vowel sounds of EU. And this is the basic overtone sound that we're using. We talk about this a lot in many of our lessons. So you go wee you. This is e -u -e -u. E -u -e -u. So you're combining the P and the EU. Do a close up while playing dig. Another question we get all the time is what if you're having trouble getting your lips to buzz? We have a question here from Xander Rice, another YouTube viewer. What do you do if you have a really small mouth and lips? What I really recommend is that you actually take some time every day to stretch your lips out. Take your two hands and go like this. I'm pulling them so I feel a stretch, but I'm not overdoing it because if you overdo it, then you know you could actually hurt yourself and you don't want to do that. Top lip. And see what I'm doing from the side. One other stretch you can do is actually sucking your lips in. See how I'm rolling my lips back and forth? What you want to do is first just work the bottom lip, then work the top lip. I'm actually sucking the lips inward one at a time and I feel them rolling over my teeth and this is what gets me loose. So after that I do my lip buzz and I actually feel more relaxed in that area, more stretched out. If you do these stretches five, ten minutes a day, really gentle, you're definitely going to get your lips to start buzzing even if you think there's no way. One other thing I wanted to mention, you need to have a good seal on the instrument. As Martin said, you know, he can do the buzz fine without the didge, but when he puts the didge up to his mouth, he's having a lot of trouble getting the drone to vibrate. And one thing I see a lot is that people just don't have a good seal. So watch as I put the mouthpiece up to my mouth, and at every point all around the mouthpiece, it's making contact with my mouth. So again, I'm going to put the didge up to my mouth 
and you're going to see that I don't let any air escape this from up here. <laughs> you see how I'm making that air come out here? <laughs> if you feel any air escaping from your lips, this is a key issue to address. As soon as you start sealing that up, all the air will go through the instrument and you're going to have a totally different experience. Also in our how to play didgeridoo for absolute beginners video, you're going to find some tips about how to tighten the corners of your mouth. And I'll show it again real quickly here. You just make this type of face and buzz your lips. And this really helps you get the good seal on your mouthpiece because you're not going to uh, have any loose parts of your mouth. So we covered three things in this video. We covered how to start the sound really strong by making the PU sound. We talked about how to get your lips buzzing by stretching them out. This is especially for people who are just having trouble making the basic sound, or even they're getting the basic sound, but it's not the best quality sound. These lip stretches really help. And we talked about making a good seal on the instrument, making sure no air is escaping anywhere in your lips and make sure no air is getting out. All the air that you're blowing out your mouth is getting down into the tube of the instrument. I wanna tell you about our free 45 minute didgeridoo class called Didgeridoo Fundamentals. This class is gonna cover some of what we cover in our videos on YouTube, but also a lot more. When you're taking a 45 minute class, we actually give you the space to be practicing all the exercises as you go. And it's like you can just sit down and take a full length class with no interruptions, and you're gonna get a lot out of it. So check it out, digproject.com slash didgeridoo-fundamentals. Highly suggested for taking your playing to the next level. Question of the day. What is the one thing you struggle with most on didgeridoo? As you see, we respond to viewer comments so write your response in the comment section below and our future videos are going to be based on what you guys tell us. I mean, when we hear from one or more people the same issue is happening, that lets us know what video to make next and how to serve you better. So thank you for joining us. Again, I'm AJ Block from Dig Project. Subscribe to our channel, follow us on Facebook slash Dig Project, and check us out at digproject.com.